Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Today's episode is really special because it is being done on special request. A lot of you guys have been commenting um, in my videos. Thank you so much for that. And you guys have been requesting that I do a review on my VCA uh, bracelet that so many of you guys have seen me wearing in my jewelry review videos. So today, for all the people that have been requesting, this video is for you guys. And today I'll be talking about my VCA Perlay bracelet. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Let's go. So in case you guys haven't noticed, today I am not wearing my VCA bracelet and the reason is that because I finally had to take it off in order to review it for you guys because I want you guys to take an up and close look at it as well and so I decided to take it off. I'm not going to be doing an unboxing for this bracelet because number one, I already have been wearing it and also when I got this bracelet, I put it on immediately in the store. And so I never really got it gift wrap or anything like that. However, I am going to go and show you guys what was in the bag because I believe it or not, I still have my VCA bag. I still have all the original box and whatever came in it. So we're going to go over that. But for now, let's start by giving you guys a close up look at this beautiful piece. Here is my gorgeous VCA Perlay Pearls of Gold. That's what this bracelet is called. They have different names for their bracelet and this one is called the Perlay beads of gold bracelet. I have this one in a small size and mine is the rose gold. So you can see this is like small beads of like literally it's literally small beads of gold that go all the way around. They are highly polished beads of gold and the bracelet closes with a little clasp right here. It's a hinge closer, so it's not like the Cartier where you have to take it apart on both ends, it's a hinge closer. For those of you that have the Cartier newer love bracelet, the skinny love bracelet, it's kind of like that. This is how it opens and closes. There's a little lock here that when you have to close it, you put it like this and then you, the lock snaps into place. And it's a beautifully designed bracelet because when you're wearing this, this closure, this little clasp is not visible. It's already the first time I wore it and I was trying to take it off because I wanted to switch wrists and I couldn't find the lock anywhere because it's so cleverly disguised. I'm gonna put it on and show you guys the closing mechanism, which is right here. It's part of the design. So the closing mechanism is also a bead of gold. So it's very cleverly and beautifully designed. I've had this bracelet now for about nine months. I bought it in January of this year and I have been wearing this non-stop so it's been on either my right wrist or my left wrist but i have been wearing this non-stop today believe it or not was the first time that i actually took it off for even this long usually i ever since i bought it i've just been wearing it and i have to tell you out of all the bracelets that i own this one definitely is a piece that has held up beautifully so those of you that are familiar with the Cartier love bracelet you know that this is a highly polished high polished bracelet and because of that it uh, any bracelet any piece of jewelry that has a mirror finish or a mirror shine or a highly polished surface even this one here they are bound to get scratched uh, the surface is going to get scratched you're going to get dings on it and over time i believe that is going to affect the finish of the bracelet but with this one the perlay because it is like it's actually gold beads that go all the way around so it's more textured than these guys are and I think for that reason, this bracelet has held up perfectly. I literally, I cannot see to my eye, I'm sure a jeweler will probably be able to see because it's like a special magnifying glass or whatever. They will be able to see if there's any scratches, but to my eye, I have not seen a single scratch on this bracelet. And that's why it's one of my favorites because it's a carefree bracelet. Like I said, I haven't taken this off since I got it. It's been on my wrist 24 seven for the last last nine months i shower with it i sleep with it um i'm working out i'm doing all of my chores i'm out and about i've been traveling with it also one of the reasons that i love this one so much is because it's such a classic design not something that's going to go out of style it's like you know it's not a trendy piece it's just like one of those pieces that that transcend time it's something that's going to be in style forever also what i love about this bracelet is that 
I can wear it with any outfit and it goes beautifully. It goes with, if you're super casual, if you're just wearing like a t-shirt or a white dress uh, button down, it can go with that. It can go if you're wearing something more formal in the evening. So it transitions beautifully from outfit to outfit. So I'm gonna put this on now so you guys can see how it goes on. It's very easy. One of the things that I love about this bracelet is that you can just do it yourself. You can take it on, take it off yourself. You don't need to rely on anybody else. So I'm gonna put it on. I like to stack it with my Cartier Love bracelet just because I think it fits better. So there we go. Put it on. To put it on, you just snap. There you go. That's how you put it on and look at how amazing it looks. Super pretty. I was actually, initially when I first got this bracelet, I was stacking it with my Shumei bracelet and I think it works perfectly with both of them. So this is what it looks like. This bracelet comes in, if you're going, this is the very basic design in the VCA. So this design is a starting one for the uh, Perlay one and I believe it cost me that and everything. It was 17,000 dirhams and I'll put up the equivalent in the dollar price so you guys can see. It comes in, this is their pink gold. It also, this is the pink gold version and you can see it works perfectly with the Cartier Love. This is also pink gold. I wear all my jewelry in pink gold. I think it works better with my complexion. So this one comes in the pink gold, the white gold, and it also comes in the yellow gold. So you guys have your choice. And I'm wearing the 15 centimeters for size reference if you guys are interested in that. And this is the smallest size. It, I checked to see if it came in 14 centimeters, but it does not come in a 14 centimeters. So this is the smallest size that it comes in. And if you see it, it's actually a little bit bigger than the Cartier Love Bracelet. The Love Bracelet is a bit more snug fit. This is, there's a little bit more room. If you can, there we go. There's a bit more room here. All right, let's show you guys what was in the box. So this is the PCA bag that it came in. It has one of the different articles spelled out here. And then this is. I haven't opened this bag in nine months, so I don't know what, I forgot what was in there. Oh wow, so this was the box that it came in, the jewelry box. And let's actually open it. Oh, oh my God, I forgot how beautiful their color is. It's like that soft, um, what would you call it, sage green. So this is what their jewelry box looks like. And it's a pretty big box. I think it's even bigger than my Cartier Love box. Definitely bigger. So it's a lovely green VCA here. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So there's this little cushion. And this was what the bracelet was resting on. And what else is in here? Let's take a look. Oh, so it had this gorgeous ribbon. And there's this booklet from VCA. It's basically what's inside here. This is the certificate of authenticity. This is, I guess, a care booklet. And then the last thing that's in this box is the invoice, and this is what it comes in. I can't believe I'm actually opening this bag after such a long time. I was so taken by this piece, and when I got it, I just put it on, and then I just put the bag in my closet and I didn't take it out until today. I usually hang on to all of my fine jewelry and also my um, designer handbag, shopping bags and boxes, which is why I'm running out of space now in my closet. So I have to figure out a way how to sort those things out. Anyway, guys, I hope this uh, review was informative and helpful to those of you that requested it. If you guys have any more questions, uh, do let me know, I'll be very happy to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I do put up videos weekly about fine jewelry and designer handbags when and if I can afford them. <laughs> right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.